Today is Sunday, November the 8th, 2015. This is my artistic expression concerning the presidential campaign for 2016. That's Donald Trump. We need to make a dump and we need to flush O'Malley with that flush tax. All right, so this is where it goes. This is how it goes. Everybody poops. Yep, we do poop, and I pooped up Larry Young, and that's Larry Young. That's O'Malley's lap dog. That's O'Malley's black voice in the community. That's the one that's been bamboozling y'all. That's O'Malley's lap dog. This is O'Malley's toilet. This is a toy. It has a lot to say, and it's going to be talking about Mikulski, and it's going to be saying this about Mikulski. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm a brown little pile of poo. And that's a brown little pile of poo, Mikulski. This is a talking toilet. This toilet got a lot to say. I stink like shit, I don't give a crap. <laughs> and that's Dan Roderick. Roughly speaking, I don't give a crap. Because he ain't about he ain't about telling the truth either. I gave Dan Roderick videos and information exposing Governor O'Malley in the play to play politics. Dan Roderick, Baltimore Sun, NPR, all they did is toss it in the garbage. But when I got accused of a terrorist activity, all of them had something slick to say. Well, I ain't locked up no more. So now it's my turn to talk shit. That's the media. And that's Jeb Bush. But this is WJZ, Kai Jackson, Stan Saunders, Gigi Barnett. Mike Shue, Richard Shear, WJZ did the first story about me in 1997. It was about me getting out of jail and opening up my own business. Now when I got locked up, WJZ was spreading lies. But now that I ain't locked up, dog, I'm going to put that camera in your face. Oh, hey there. I recognize you. You've got a nice ass. Some of y'all's reporters got a nice ass, but that ain't what I'm about. I'm about digging in your ass. That's Hillary Clinton, and that's Congressman Cummings. We talk about reform and criminal justice. Dog, let's talk about the minority report. Let's turn this into the president. Hey, what you looking at? You look just like a shithead. Huh? And them two are shitheads. It's the Baltimore Sun. And like I said, this is about O'Malley. And O'Malley's corruption. You can't lock me up for protesting. Because I'm going to be putting these toilets all over. You can't lock up a toilet because it's a art. It's artistic expression. And I want to see what you're going to charge the toilet with. So O'Malley, like I said, I use the minority report. And the minority report is outhouses because I'll be out you politicians. I'm a United States veteran. I'm good at what I do. And I'm just going to be vetting. Like I said, that's President Obama. And these are the supporters of Shorty. Alright, so I'm not in this alone. We the undersigned. Our supporters of Dwayne G. Davis, Shorty. We have known Shorty for some time and have found him to be a successful and well-respected member of the Baltimore, Maryland area community, as well as a successful, hard-working businessman. We are requesting that the state of Illinois, state local officials in and around the city of Zion, Illinois, conduct a complete and impartial investigation into the death of Shorty's son, Jarrell Nure Davis, December of 2016. We also requested all and any records regarding this investigation and any other legal proceedings involving Shorty be made fully public under the Freedom of Information Act. They want everything fully public. These are my supporters. It's over 4,500 people. And we want this information public. We want you to tell the truth. So this is where it is. That's Dwayne G. Davis, November the 3rd, 2015. Ken LaRue. And it says right here, good morning. Regarding your repeated efforts to retrieve the evidence from your 1986 case, 07CF4988 felony, the material was supposed to be returned December the 7th, 2009. Judge 
Potowick ordered the state to return the evidence. The state refused to return the evidence. And it also says, I have a collection of letters and discs that you have sent over the years that you can have back. Well, send it back, Ken LaRue, because the next toilet is going to be all about you. O'Malley created this situation. That toilet I left in Towson was all about O'Malley. It was about the 2012 elections. It was about the elections that he won. You got to debate me and see me if you like it or not. Because I'm going to flush your careers down the hole. I'm going to make you dizzy with all these toilets. So, produce this material like you said and let the public see what's going on. It's the minority report. It's the state of black America. We tired of you shitting on us. It's the art of protest. This ain't my first day on the job. <laughs>